Could plants learn, remember, and make decisions? Um, a number of plant biologists would say very definitely so. It was found right back in the middle of the 19th century that the sensitive plant, Mimosa pudica, um, reacts when you stimulate its leaves by closing up. But after a while, it discovers that when you touch its leaf, nothing much happens, and so it stops closing up. And that might just be because it had got a bit tired. But Monica Galliano did some very interesting experiments, and her conclusions were, when I talk about learning, I mean learning. When I talk about memory, I mean memory. And what she did was she took sensitive plants and stroked them with her finger. After a while, as predicted, they stopped closing. But she then put an unfamiliar stimulus drop of water on the leaves and immediately they closed so they could discriminate the touch of a finger from the touch of water. And she then did a very ingenious experiment which I hope I'll be able to explain. She took pea plants and they were grown in an environment where their source of light came down a Y-shaped arrangement above the tray in which they were grown. And so they craved light from one arm or other of this uh, why? And experimentally, a light would turn on for periods of time in one or another arm of this Y-shaped maze above the plant, and this would be randomly varied. But for one group of seedlings, a puff of air from a fan coming down the same arm always preceded the light. So for that plant, air down that arm meant this is where the light's going to come from. And for the other group, the setup was similar, except the air came down the arm opposite to the one in which the light would subsequently appear. Now, having been trained to this over a three-day period, the plants equally learnt to predict the light from the stream of air and turned appropriately either towards or away from the light, uh, whichever side in their experience delivered it. Now, that is an extraordinary finding.